Okay, so uh, this is a quick video on how to um, extract your photos from your iPhone. Uh, if you're a Windows user, you'll be used to using uh, File Explorer to uh, get the pictures off and showing it in devices. So the first thing we need to do is open a program called Image Capture. Uh, if you just go into your program list, uh, or you can use the search box if you've got quite a lot of programs installed already on your Mac or use Spotlight Search, whichever um, you want to get to it. So once in, open Image Capture, <clears throat> and you'll notice uh, straight away, if your iPhone's not connected, um, it will say device is nothing, and on my particular one, it's showing another device, which is the Canon printer, which has a scanner, so. Uh, the devices um, that we're trying to see, uh, when your phone's plugged in, it'll have a name listed there. So we'll plug the phone in, uh, immediately straight away, um, Mac tries to open photos and iTunes as default. Um, yours might not be set like that, but that's usually the case. So you click on your device, um, and once you're in your device, you'll see all the photos listed. So you just select one you want. Uh, you can select multiple uh, ones as well. It's entirely up to you. But if you want a single image, just click it once. Uh, you'll see it highlighted blue. And you've got the options at the bottom to import or import all, and also where the uh, file or photo is going to be saved. Uh, mine's currently sent to pictures, which is what I want. So I'll make sure you select where you're saving it. Uh, once you've done that, you can then just click on import and then it will put it into the file that you need. Um, I'm just looking at the file name there, what it's ending, uh, so I can go on and show you where it is. So open finder, uh, pick your pictures folder if that's where you've saved it to. Uh, look for the uh, file uh, with the file name in it, which in our case is this one here, which is a picture of absolutely nothing picture of a grid but uh, that's uh, that's it simple as that so once you've got a near Mac you can then sort and organize them how you want and not rely on uh, photos to do it for you okay so I hope you liked the video uh, and if you did if you can please give us a, a like or subscribe it all helps uh, in supporting us doing more videos thank you very much for watching